we're going to be having a look at a robot vacuum I've been sent to try. Uh, it's from a company called Bagot. B A G O T T E. Uh, we're going to be giving a test uh, for a few weeks, so let's have a look at exactly what we have got in the box. Okay, so the model we have got is the B G Seven Hundred. So that is the name of the company. And within the box, we have our instruction manual. We have our three ping English power supply. Let me find out what that is. We have our docking station. We have our docking station. We have our new cleaner brush. We have our remote control batteries. Yeah, we have our brushes. So we have four of these brushes here. Stickers. And we have our filter. And our box inside. And we have the back itself, quite considerably heavy. And as I say, we have the docking station. Remote control, and it comes with the two AAA batteries. What this part is, but then we have the spare filter and four brushes. So let's we have a quick read of the instructions, see how to set it up, and we can have a go at using it. Okay, so we will have a go at setting it up. This is a spare filter. Your filter mm -hmm. would normally go in the back here, pull down, pull it out. And in there you see that's where your filter goes. This is also where all the dust and uh, hair will be collected when you're doing your hoovering. Like that, just then um, slide back in, just pull the tab down, make sure it clicks in, it's back in. Before we use, we will have to put on our two brushes. It comes with four. Uh, the two brushes will fit here and here. So okay, just click on, and click, and so you can see they go on. Also, your off and on button is just down here as well, just behind. There. Okay. These you remove before using. Uh, so when it knocks, it clicks in so it knows not to go any further. And this heavy thing here is what you would use as a track so you can put it on the floor to stop it going any further you want to put it above your stairs or, or wherever or you don't want part of the room for it to go into you'd put the track down okay so let's have a go switch it on to see if it has any power yeah it's power Okay. Off it goes. As soon as you lift it, it stops working. So you don't want it ringing around my desk. You know, it has power. There's 
also there's a app that it comes with I'm going to download the app so what I will do now is actually put it on charge for a while have a go at downloading the app and then we will test it downstairs in the dining room ok we'll be back in one moment ok you download the app agree to the terms and conditions you register by email or register by phone. I'm going to register by email. It will email you a confirmation code. Um, when I email you the code, uh, mine went into my spam folder. So maybe when you do register, check your spam or your trash to make sure it hasn't gone into the wrong folder. Okay, so then once you type in your code I sent you, you type in your password. Once you get to there, you can then ask you to add your device. Oh, device. So now it is having a look. Did the device now? And actually, as a firmware update for it, so it's going to be doing a quick update. So once that's done, I have access. Turn it on, stop it, move the direction it wants to go to. I can tell it where to go, where to where to do, so it can actually be controlled via the app. You can put it on time, on standby. So as I said, we charge it up and we'll take it downstairs and see how it actually does. Nice little app for it. And you can also be used with Alexa and Google Assistant as well. So you can actually ho tell it to Hoover where you're around. Okay. Okay, so now we have it uh, set up. The dining room, as you can see, uh, we've had the dog ringing in and out. We've been in and out for most of the day. So here it's quite messy. So we're going to give it a try, but first of all, I don't want it actually going down the other end of the dining room, so I'm going to put the script down and I will show you guys that in a moment where I'll put the script, stop it going to see if that actually works. What I will do is sniff it like that, put it down and see if it stops going down there. See, I put the strip just there to see if it stops it going down because I don't want to go down that end of the uh, dining room yet. So, it is all ready to go. So, as we can see, it's quite a bit of mess for it to have a go at cleaning. 
I'm just going to press the clean button to see how it goes without a pre-programmed route for now. And then we'll come back and see how she's doing. So just press the clean. And off it goes. What I will do is have a go at programming uh, some timings in uh, at a later date and we will update the video as we're going along. So let's just leave it to do its business. way back to the docking station and starts and recharging. So if I have a look round I can see actually it's doing a very good job. You have a space here to put in your remote so you can keep it safe. Yep, the remote just slots in. And as I say, it takes two AAA batteries, what it, what it comes with. And the job so far seems to be quite good. What I will do is I will test it on carpet and a mixture of carpet and wooden floor uh, within the front room over the next couple of days and see how it goes.